I promise you one thing, you won't hear that on any other news channel in this country tonight. <laughs> lady Susan Hussey was a lady-in-waiting to our late Queen, and reportedly one of her best friends. She'd given six decades of service to this country. At an event last night, a cocktail party event last night at Buckingham Palace, there was a woman in full African dress. Lady Hussey, perhaps not unsurprisingly, asked her where she came from. She got a series of non-replies and pursued the conversation. In the end, it turns out that Ngozi Falani, who is a British citizen, although of African heritage and still displaying African culture, it turns out she said she felt she'd been denied her nationality in what was seen to be an outright racist assault. A couple of points to make about that, because I thought immediately something doesn't feel right here. So who is Ngoza Falani? Well, I'll tell you. She helps run a charity. The charity is called Sister Space. Let me read you their mission statement. Our charity supports black women domestic violence survivors. So if you're white, don't apply. Black women, domestic, violent, uh, domestic violence. And, and she says, I admire Meghan for speaking out. <laughs> According to clear definition, it seems Meghan is a survivor of domestic violence <laughs> from her in-laws. <laughs> this was in 2021. And I could go on. She said, I'm glad the hypocrite Piers has left ITV. Well, I'm not Piers' greatest fan, but I did think, actually, on Meghan Markle, he was almost certainly right. She then goes on to say about the Jubilee, Harry and Meghan won't be allowed on the balcony. It is an exclusively white balcony. The only black people are banned. This is racism. Add to that that her organisation has been funded by Black Lives Matter. Uh, and I'm not, questioning, I'm not questioning the stated aim of Black Lives Matter, of equality from all. I'm questioning an organisation that has proved to be deeply corrupt, that wants to effectively close down funding for our police forces and bring down the entirety of the Western world. And you know what's worst of all? There's a full transcript of that conversation with Lady Hussey. She clearly had a tape recorder on her as well. And my view is rather than an 83-year-old woman being thrown to the wolves for doing nothing more than trying to make small talk, polite conversation at a cocktail party, my view is that Falani planned this right from the very start. She's an anti-royal, anti-British Marxist, and it's quite wrong what has happened in the last 24 hours. <laughs> Now, I will. Uh, I promise you one thing: you won't hear that on any other news channel in this country tonight. <laughs>